everybody. Uh, this is Bakujin, and I'm actually bringing you a magic deck this time. It is a little creation of my own. It's a red-black Eldrazi Rush deck. Um, it's still kind of in its early stages. I'm just getting back into playing magic again, so it's going to be a little rough. Um, I do need a couple more cards. Here's my cool little Eldrazi spawn token. Um, so yeah, here's the deck. And if you're wondering about this, it's because I'm in a hotel right now. I'm actually leaving Alaska and heading back home. Part of the reason I haven't been making a lot of videos. Um, really bad internet in Alaska. Really crappy. Just saying. Uh, here's my one drops. Uh, this here is Seer. That's a 1-1 one, one for 1 vampire. I can sack a creature to scry. Um, I don't use it that often. A lot of times it's uh, food. <laughs> frankly. Um, turn 2, I have 2 Childs of the Night. Uh, it's a, for 2, 2-1 two, with lifelink. Pretty good. A uh, little little frail. I'd kind of rather drop this one on, on 2. Pretty sure this card's familiar to you all. Bloodthorn Vampire. 1-1 uh, one, one for 2. I can sack a creature. Make her 2-2. Two, two. Uh, it's not a tab effect or anything. This is great food for it. Cause, you know, 1, and you just have her sitting here waiting for them to swing. Pump it to a 3-3. Three, three. Um, it's also, I can do it unlimited times during the turn. Uh, it is red black, so I have two ogre sentries. Um, three three for two, great for stalling me into mid game. Uh, mid game is where this deck really really shines. Uh, it, once it starts generating its engine, it's, it's really hard to stop. Uh, on three, I have two pawn of ogre log. Uh, whenever a creature or him, a non creature token, or non token creature or him go into the graveyard. I put out draw these spawn into play. That's for the you know, as it starts for this guy right here. And if need be, I can sack a creature. If I have him and blood thrown out, I can sack a creature for blood thrown. Get the token, sack the token for blood thrown. Give her a plus four plus four. Make it pretty strong. Uh, also on three I have two with then a Spectre. It's uh for three, it's a two one. Uh, flying when it enters the battlefield, every one of my opponents discards a card. This one's foily. So it's nice. Uh, it's not flying, which is always good. It's aggressively costed, so I like it. And it, it dumps cards. Dumping your opponent's options is always good. And I jump up to um, turn 5. 5 mana. So I have no turn 4 in this deck. Um, it's kind of creature light, really. If you have any suggestions for this deck, definitely tell me. Um, here's the hatcher. So comes into play, put three Eldrazi spawn tokens into play. Simple as that. There's a bunch of combos with this card you'll see over here. Uh, it's nice to g it's a it's a three three, which is not bad. Um, one of the win conditions, if my draws here aren't exactly working, is this this girl right here. Four four flying for five has X uh, ability X and two swamp. Um, uh, give target creature minus zero minus x, and she gains plus x plus zero uh, to end of turn. Now we're flying, and that man, yeah, uh, nice little ability. I can pump her, and then swing over. Considering we have it that uh, a lot of Eldrazi spawn out, I can use them for the x cost because they do tap for or they sack for colorless mana. Um, looked up a ruling. She can overkill creatures and then get the full bonus because her her boost is based on X, not the toughness of the creature she kills. So that's a handy little trick. Uh, also, to Shriek Maw, uh, it's the beginning of my uh, creature hate. A lot of creature hate in this deck. Um, this deck really is based on killing as many things as you can. <laughs> uh, also, a great card uh, for two. You know, terror. <laughs> or I can play it as a creature for 5 with fear, which is not bad. Uh, two rapacious ones. Um, probably gonna need more of these. Uh, great card for 6, trample. 5-4 uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I put that many Eldrazi spawn into play. Pretty simple. When trample, they're a little iffy on blocking it. Now, here's where the Eldrazi's come in. Three handed Emmer cools. I think you already see the pattern here. Uh, it can be quick casted by sacking four Eldrazi spawn with an Annihilator 1. I can only get him off turn 5. Uh, right after the um, Hatcher's drop, I only have four or five Eldrazi spawn tokens. 
Boom, it's a hand that look roll. Uh, great card. This one, uh, we're gonna need one more him. Yeah, later. Like Artisan Kozai. Close out. Um, another amazing card. For 9, when it comes into play, you res a creature. It's got Annihilator 2, it's a 10 9. How draws are freaking ridiculous? These things are insane. Insanely good. I'm gonna want probably two more of him when this deck is actually finished. Finish. Now, on this, uh, other spells, I have two lightning bolts. It is red, black, so lightning bolts in here. Uh, unfortunately, I have no lightning. Uh, I really wish I had lightning. That would be amazing. Um, man, there's double lightning bolt. Pretty standard. Uh, two vendettas. Also, pretty, pretty standard. Um, the thing about switching it out is I do end up losing life. And I have other life sad cards in this deck, so I'm not really sure if I want to do that. But good card overall. Uh, two last kisses. I know they're a little highly priced, but at instant speed, I don't really mind. Three damage target creature, I gain two life. Instant? Yeah, I like it. It's nice. Uh, it also kind of offsets Vendetta and a couple other cards in this deck. Uh, two induced despairs. Uh, instant speed, uh, additional cost, induced despairs, cost of three. Reveal creature card. Target creature is minus X, minus X, where X is reveal cards converted mana cost. Considering all the high mana cost cards I have in this deck, um, it'll it, it'll kill a good amount of things in in the game. Um, uh, because I'm so uh, aggressive with all my creature killing and all that, and we're gonna run out of cards pretty soon. I'm running this little nifty little ticket. Two copies of Porter's Greed. Uh, I lose uh, lose two life, draw two cards, and clash with the opponent. If I win, do it again and again. And again, and again, and again, if I win. Considering, again, all the high priced cards I have in the deck, uh, it draws me, you know, four to six cards pretty much every time, which is nice. So it can easily refill my hand. Um, to Corpse Hatch. Corpse Hatch. Debating about destroying a target non black creature, put two, which draws these bonds into play for five. I'm thinking about turning this into. Essence Strain, but I'm still really iffy about it. I gotta play test both of them. Both of them are great cards. Now, Splinter Twin. I need a second one of these so badly. Enchant Creature, Enchant Creature is tapped with a token that's a copy of this, of this creature on the battlefield. The token is haste, exile at the beginning of the next end step. What this does, holy shit. What I like to do is I'll drop. Hatcher into play. Play Splinter Twin. Tap Hatcher. Six Eldrazi spawn tokens. That fast. That's enough to sack for the hand and play anything else I really need. That's turn six. Right there. Ridiculously good. Um, the lands. I just have, I have two Vivid Marshes and a stack of swamps. Two Vivid Crags in the stack of mountains. Um, I, the whole reason I have the Vivids is just in case I don't hit one of the other ones, since there's only two here, I can pretty much survive. Um, so that's the deck. I don't know what you think. Uh, to my knowledge, a deck like this hasn't been really mainstream. Um, yeah, just tell me what you think about the deck. Tell me if it's any good, tell me if it's crap, you know, whatever. Uh, that's it for me. I'll be back with a couple more magic decks later. See you guys.